Uh, you want to try this Monroe Medley little deal? Yeah. One of the tunes that I recorded with Bill was uh, Virginia Darling. And that was written about one of his uh, uh, girlfriends named Virginia. And, uh, all right. <laughs> Sound like the Grand Ole Opry's on right there. <laughs> and uh, anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's Monroe. A ghost of Monroe. Uh, and then uh, he wrote a tune that was very similar after I left the band called Road to Columbus. And then he's got another tune, a song, rather, I'm on my way back to the old home. So we're going to do all this together just to prove to you that bluegrass does all sound alike. You won't be able to know. Just come in on the four, you
to your home.
<laughs> yeah. Big band sound. Big band tune. Farewell blues. Yeah. Been around for. How do you do that again? Did you do that? Did you do? Back to back to I, I give lessons on Tuesdays and Thursdays, at eleven o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Big orchestra like us, we have to tune a lot, so just bear with us. I bet you I can get a hold of one once somebody's tuning a banjo. Don't make me tell a banjo joke. Just one. Just one. <laughs> well, well, have you ever heard any? No, you haven't heard any, I'm sure. They, they don't get far up here in New York, do they? Don't get that, that banjo jokes, do they? Oh, yeah, we do. No, no, I'm not going to get mad. <laughs> we would like to hear an out-of-town banjo joke, wouldn't we? Yeah. Absolutely. We're in a cultural exchange here. <laughs> well, let's see. I'm trying to make one that's clean. <laughs> make one that's clean. Well, Especially here. Uh, difference between a banjo and a trampoline? You know that, don't you? People take their shoes off when they jump on a trampoline. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> and every note I don't know. <laughs> Some of those too. Kind of all mixed in. But uh, he did write this one, I think, back in the 70s. And he recorded it with the Dixie Pals. And I'm a big fan of those Dixie Pal recordings. And uh, this is just a great tune called Dreams. Thank you. 
Det er det. What? <laughs> How many bird watchers do we have in the audience? Anybody watch birds? Good. There's nothing wrong with it. It's a manly enough thing to do. It's nothing wrong. My wife and I watch birds every morning. We go out and walk in this park and we watch all kinds of birds. Do you guys watch birds? We're not paying attention. Band meeting, band meeting. We're figuring out how mockingbird, we're gonna do a tune called Listen to the Mockingbird and then this, you might be able to hear some of your favorite bird calls and this I do on the fiddle. I don't know if I can do them or not, but we'll see how my hand's working. Do you guys watch birds? you watch any kind of birds at all? Do you have any favorite birds you like to watch? The doozy bird. No. <laughs> there probably is a hummingbird. You like hummingbirds. Mm -hmm. They are. Musical, I like that. And you like anything? Uh, I've been watching some baby pigeons at the subway station in the morning. Right. They're gestating and I know, I think I gotta get out of New York a little more. <laughs> That's the only pigeon there, I mean, bird there is in New York City. Oh, no, actually, there's hawks. There's hawks in New York. Oh, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh. But I do see quite a few pigeons. Very so good. I guess that's what I'm watching most of the Teeth, day. how about you? Uh, chicken, that's what I had for dinner. Right. All right, I like the chicken, too. <laughs> actually, my favorite bird is the American bald eagle. Very cool. The ball part, that's what I like. <laughs> You know, there's a medical research taken on baldness. I don't know whether you know this or not. For instance, if you have a bald spot in the back of your head, they found that you're a lover. And if you, if you have a high forehead, they found that you're a thinker. True medical fact. If you're bald all the way across, you just think you're a lover. See that? <laughs> So, <laughs> Mockingbird, it goes right to the egg. Jailbird. <laughs> Sawed his way out of that jail. Flew the coon. <laughs> One of my favorites I like to do, if I'm feeling just right, I like to do a duck. Duck. <laughs> Best I can do on that one. <laughs> you can do a swallow. No, oh, never mind. Let's, let's get a little more foul and do Keith's favorite bird, the chicken. Just go to G chord, play G for me. Perfect. G 
chicken. I can't do it. You guys are such a good audience. You're starved for entertainment, aren't you? Let's do a... What else do chickens do? They lay eggs, don't they? Let's do a chicken laying an egg. You may wonder what that is. That is mood music. You get the chicken in the mood to lay an egg. She's in the mood now. She's ready. Chicken laying an egg. Chicken laying a great big square egg, if you could imagine that. Ow. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's, that's what now? There. <laughs> Yes, time changes everything. 
bass players don't sing that high. He does a pretty good job. <laughs> I live on top of the mountain, you know. It's all those the ears on the dairy farm. Thin air. <laughs> yodel a lot. Yodel a lot. No. You can't yodel? I can't. <clears throat> Maybe tonight. <laughs> That's too bad, you know. Anything on that list that we haven't, we haven't done? Should I do that? Star belongs to me? Yeah, she should sing some more, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah. Too slick, you think? Maybe <laughs> this looks professional. That's how we're working on our Vegas act, so I hope it's not too slick. All right, here we go. We got it worked out. Now. Okay. <laughs> I got to tell you a story. Bill and I were good friends. We really were. And uh, he'd always rib me about something and I'd kid him about something. And one time, I, I cut a, a record one time and it was called Outrageous. I don't know whether any of you have that or not. It's a white album, just Byron Berlin on this little outrageous thing. And I used all these studio musicians in Los Angeles. And J.D. Maness is a really good steel player. Played with Buck Owens and played with a lot of different people. And so I had not only bluegrass, but I had uh, Electric guitars, piano, steel, everything on, mixed in with it. Just something different, you know, and uh, mostly original tunes. So I recorded that, and uh, Bill Monroe came out to Los Angeles, and he was performing out there, and Kenny Baker was in the band. So I played this tape for Kenny Baker. I knew Kenny Baker would like it, you know. So sure enough, he did. Oh, that, that is, that's, that, that, Byron, that's really good right there. And uh, he liked it, you know. So play that for Bill, and I said, no, Bill won't like it. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. Oh, yeah, he will. He'll like it. <laughs> so we pulled up the motel, and Bill stand up on this balcony, and then Kenny said, come here, Bill. So he came down there, and he had, I was in the car. I had a cassette playing. And I started, started the first song. And the first break in it was a steel break. J.D. Mintz playing steel. And Bill Monroe goes, uh, what is that right there? <laughs> I said, that's a steel the player there, Bill. Hmm. 
Well, that just ruined it right there. <laughs> and, and I said, well, what's your opinion? Hmm. He knew he wasn't getting to me, you know. He goes, well, Barn, your, your daddy wouldn't like you doing that kind of music. <laughs> and I said, now, what are you talking about? What kind of music are you talking about, Bill? He said, well, that swing. I said, well, let me tell you something. My dad was listening to Bob Wills before he ever heard of you. <laughs> so don't tell me he wouldn't like it, you know. And so he, he kind of went on. So just a few, maybe a year later, Ricky Skaggs recorded Uncle Pan. You remember that? Mm -hmm. And what was in it? A steel break, if you remember. Yeah. So I, I got Bill, he came back to LA again and I caught him out there and one time I said, Bill, I said, what do you think of Ricky Skaggs' Uncle Pan? Oh, it was wonderful. Well, he got up to number one, that's why he said it was wonderful. <laughs> Made him a lot of money, you know. Oh, it was wonderful. <laughs> well, did you hear that steel break in it, Bill? He goes, yeah, I did. I said, I don't think your Uncle Pen would like that at all. <laughs> <laughs> he looked at me and just laughed. <laughs> so anyway, what goes around comes around, right? <laughs> into the deep end of the pool, <laughs> but with friends, so it's good. <laughs> well, you didn't sink. <laughs> no, paddle right along, just like Bill Monroe would want me to. That's right. <laughs> well, we've run out of tunes. What do you want us to do now? Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Here's some Ridge. To you. Miller's oh, yeah. real. <laughs> All right. I had this at uh, my workshop today. I'll play happy birthday their version of it. In fact, I had them do it in the National Fiddle Contest for their final round, final song. See what they could do from the jam on Happy Birthday. It was interesting, to say the least. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. <laughs> 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 
Mr. Mike, right here on the mandolin. Mike the mandolin man. <laughs> Tonight. We really appreciate you guys. In the Hudson Valley Bluegrass Association. Thank you very much for putting all this together. And Fred, I want to thank you again for asking me to come up here and get together with Lynn and everybody to put this together. So, and another round of applause for this fine band right here. Okay, great. I'm sure they had better things to do tonight on a Saturday night than come up and play with me, but I really appreciate that. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, thanks again, you guys. It's been, been great. 
And so, I don't know. What would you like to hear our last song? Orange Blossom Special. <laughs> Big Mon. Big Mon. How about Rawhide? Oh, there you go. <laughs> 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 no, he didn't want to do that either. No, I don't care. <laughs> I'll tell you what, let's do. Let's do a little faded love and then we'll go into the last one. Faded love. Keep. We did Maiden's Prayer earlier, so let's do Faded Love now. This is the Oklahoma fiddle song, state fiddle song, Faded Love. Bob Wills lived out there for a long time. It was on KBOO Radio in Tulsa, Oklahoma for 20-some years. And, uh, of course, he's around Texas. And I still moved out to California for a while, too. But anyway, he's very popular in Oklahoma.
Would you like to hear one more? <laughs> Thank you very much. I'll tell you what. Let's do another instrumental, and this is uh, called the Oklahoma Stomp. Yeah. Yeah. This is, uh, I went to school at the University of Oklahoma, and uh, this is what they usually do to their opponents when they play in the football, but not all, last year they didn't do so good, but this year they will.